it is. <laughs> I don't know where it is. You know, the, you know the BBC kitchen that we sneak in and use because we haven't got our own kitchen? I've never done that. Haven't you? No. Oh, I was told straight away by Nigel Adley, one of our art commentators, come with me, I'll show you the BBC kitchen. A secret kitchen I've yeah. never seen. But Nigel and I for, have both worked at the BBC for many years over the years, but we're both now freelance, but we still kind of think that we should be able to use their kettle. And uh, I went there yesterday very confidently with my Roy Boss tea bags I brought in, and uh, no kettle. And all the BBC people, you know, wouldn't look me in the eye. And I think they've got it in their office somewhere. I think they've taken it out of the kitchen to stop us people from Paralympic Sport TV nicking it. Well, I'm not surprised. And we weren't nicking no. it. We were just using it. We were just using it. It's gone. Poor Jeremy. It's, it's against the spirit of the Paralympics, actually, isn't it? So if people across Namibia could uh, have a cup of tea to uh, toast Joanna Benson or maybe something stronger because I won't be able to because the BBC kettle has been hidden. Kerry Morgan of the States. So we're running pretty much to time. This race should be off at 9.24. It's 9.23 now, UK time. So I'm very impressed the way they managed to keep to time, pretty much. The athletics usually goes on till about 10 o'clock, sometimes up till 10.30. Can't always tell how long the uh, field events are going to go along. But do stay with us. At some point on the international stream, we'll be handing over for a, a, a news bulletin of a roundup of all the day's action in the Paralympics. But uh, we'll stay on the web with the athletics for as long as it goes on. So Michelle Stilwell of Canada would be the favourite to win this one in lane seven. And uh, Marika Vervoet of Belgium in six. And Cassie Mitchell of USA in five. They're the ones to watch as well, along with Kerry Morgan of the States in lane four. Women's 100 metres, T52 final. And they're away. It's the two American girls away well, but it's Marika Vervoet of Belgium in lane six, who's going extremely well. Michelle Stilwell of Canada in the white and black, but Marika Vervoet of Belgium is going to win it. Vervoet, and here comes the Canadian, but she's left it a little too late. Marika Vervoet of Belgium wins the 100 metres T52 final. Michelle Stilwell of Canada gets the silver. And Michelle Stilwell is one of the athletes blogging on youtube.com Paralympic Sport TV. She's one of the ones you gave the mobiles to. She had a great one the other day about dungeon training. Dungeon training? Dungeon training. What's that about? Training uh, in a dungeon? She was training in the dungeon. Good Lord. Michelle Stilwell of Canada getting the silver. She's done a, a YouTube film on dungeon training, whatever that is. YouTube.com, look up Paralympic Sport TV channel. You can also access it, paralympicsport.tv, which will take you straight to that YouTube channel for highlights of all of the brilliant action from the Paralympic Games. Let's have a, a replay of this final then. Here comes Marika Vervoort of Belgium, 33 years of age. T52 class. And here comes Michelle Stilwell. And just at this point, I thought she might catch her, but she just ran out of track. If they'd gone on for another 20 metres, Stilwell of Canada would have caught her. So her dungeon training paid off, but not good enough for gold. Kerry Morgan of the States getting the bronze medal just ahead of Cassie Mitchell. Mitchell did set a new PB, but she was 0.2 of a second behind Morgan. So a new Paralympic record, Marika Viervoort, 1969. Stilwell second, Morgan third, and then PBs for Cassie Mitchell and season's bests for Leitner, Tanaka and Kiyama. So all of the finalists can be very pleased with what they did, but it's Viervoort of Belgium who's got the record and the gold. <laughs> 